Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode 4 of Boba Fett. I am super excited, as always, to get into this episode. Um, last week we saw Black Chrysanthemum uh, kicking people's ass. We saw uh, the new mod punk biker gang. I don't know what to call them at this point. Everyone's calling them different things. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see where we go this time. I'm hoping we get to see Boba Fett riding a Rancor. If we don't see that this season, I'll be very disappointed. But maybe this time we'll see more of Danny Trejo and we will see the Rancor. Because obviously last week we saw the, the Rancor being like a little puppy. And it was adorable. Uh, so more of that, please. Please, more of that. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into the episode. Okay, no more Woogie jump scares this time, please. I don't think he needs that in his life anymore. Um, again, I could sit and watch him riding a Bantha all day. Like, you know the way you need, like, relaxing music or relaxing stuff to fall asleep to? This is- this is mine. I need this. <laughs> Look at his little tail wag, dude! Dude, Boba Fett being sweet to animals is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. That's this is it. This is me happy for the rest of my life. I can die happy. The fuck was that? Oh, is that Fennec? Oh my god, is this leading it? Oh! Is this will happen to Fennec after Oh, from Mandal Oh, okay, okay. Okay, this is- no, this is cool! Oh, that was awesome! Oh my god, okay, I love- I love the connections, I love the fit- the- 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 ah! Okay! Okay, this is a really cool little workshop, I like this. It's like a tattoo parlor, but not for tattoos, for cybernetics. Aren't you a little old to be here? Oh, that's rude! Oh, I am Boba Fett. That was so hot. Oh my god. Boba is not dead. I love his accent so fucking much. Oh. I was rescued by the Sand People. You said it's what you wish. Yeah, your debt will be paid, but you are gonna become besties. Little do you know, you will be BFFs in no time. I like that we're getting an episode sort of based around Fennec now. This is nice. Because I feel like she's she hasn't had enough... Enough role. Damn, who decided to make the Gamorreans so thick? I just want to talk. No, don't say farewell. Oh! Words to live by. Okay, find other banthas, make baby banthas. Like a bantha. I love this so much. Oh. There are too many of them. Anytime they patrol. What are we going to do? Quiet. Damn, impressive. And she's like, yeah, see, I did that. <laughs> I'm a boss ass bitch. <laughs> okay, where do I hire this droid? Oh, Oh, what is this abomination? Hold up, maybe I don't want one. I take it back. Calm down, Grievous. Holy shit. That's fucking terrifying. Let's get to work. Oh, look at this little guy. Oh, I love him. I love those droids so much. No, he's the cutest thing. Please don't hurt him. Please don't hurt him. No, please don't hurt him. He's too sweet. Stop. No, Boba. Droid supremacy. Oh, look at him. Uh-oh. No. He shot himself down. 
I love how he's holding up against a wall like he's threatening someone. Oh. Damn, look at that beauty. <gasps> gunk droid! There's a gunk droid! Gunk, 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 gunk. No! <gasps> Not the gunk droid! No! What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh! Destruction! It's about drive, it's about power, we stay hungry, we devour! Hell yeah! Oh, that's such a good shot! Oh my god, she's so fucking badass! Oh! Oh, this music! Everything about this is so beautiful! Ah! There he goes, he got his baby back! It's so different seeing them in the cockpit. Like, we're so used to, like, the Millennium Falcon or whatever, but, like, we're not used to the slave. Oh! Oh, into the sunset with the twin suns. Nice. Dude, are we about to get some, like, seismic charge-ass shit up in here? That would be so cool. Oh my god, he is not showing any mercy for these guys. Let's fucking go! Oh my god! But we're really sad. Fuck y'all! Oh! Nice. That look of approval. Bro. That is such a menacing. Holy shit! That is the most menacing shot I've ever seen in my life! Oh my god, dude! What the fuck? The music's too ominous. Please don't jump scare. Please don't jump scare. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was ready for it. It still shit me up. No! No! <laughs> no! Seismic charge its ass! Go for it! Oh, that sound is music to my ears. Seismic charge, more like orgasmic charge. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, he's all slimy and gross. Oh man, this this is a callback. All junk. Living with the tough people's meat is so hard. It's made him smarter. Strong. Or strong. Strong works too. I love the effect the Tuscans have had on him. Holy shit. Please don't end the episode yet. Please, I beg. Okay. <gasps> Santi's back! Santi's back! Santi's back! Santi's back! Hey, buddy. Oh, look at him. He's so cool. What? He's waiting on Afra. Afra's gonna stroll in. Santi? You're spilling it, buddy! Oh, 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 he's not done! He's not fucking done! Hold up, where? <laughs> Bob is like, what did I just walk in on? Holy fuck! <gasps> God, she's so fabulous. Backstory. Yes. Damn, she's wonderful. Your best boy, Santi. Impressive. <laughs> Right, 
up? What's up, buddy? Look at him. Please. Please meet up with Afra. Like you could use a job. <laughs> yes! 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 Hired! Let's fucking go! Hell yeah, we've got a squad. We've got Trandoshans, we've got the creepy spider looking people. We've got a uh, gladiator Wookiee. We have Gamorians. We have mod gangs. Like, now all we need is an, an archaeologist. Oh, we're gonna hire so many people. I am so ready for this. <gasps> Did I hear a bit of the Mando theme in there? Is this the Mando? Are we? All right, Din Jaren, where are you, buddy? You're hired. Oh! <laughs> oh! Dude! Ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. I'm obsessed with this song. Completely obsessed. Oh my god, more Santi artwork. Also, she called him Santo. Afra calls him Santi, she calls him Santo. I'm, I'm here for all these nicknames. It's great. Holy shit. Okay, so we have just opened the doors for so much shit to go on. So, like I said, we have hired, like, a full, like, squad now. Like, we, we've got all the all the ones that were on the table. We now have Black Chrysanthemum, like, hired officially. We have, obviously, we've got Boba, we've got Fennec. So that's three bounty hunters so far. Um... And then hopefully we're going to get Din Djarin in on this shit. That would be awesome. Um, I feel like, honestly, at this point, now that they've given us... Black, like, they've literally spoken Black Chrysanthemum's backstory about, like, the gladiator pit and how he was, like, um, just badass and crazy and he was seen as a champion. Um, I feel like now that we've been actually given that, there's there's going to be so much more to him, and I feel like that has opened the possibility. I know I keep saying it. I know I'm going to just annoy people with this over and over again, but this genuinely gives such an opportunity for Afra to be involved. It doesn't have to be in Book, in Book of Boba Fett, but this, I was talking to a friend about this, and it's very possible. Well, it's not, I mean, it is possible, but it's something that I would love to see is like an end credit scene where Black Chrysanthemum goes off and finds Afra, and then that's like their their announcement for their newest show that they're gonna bring out like uh, i oh, there there's so many things they could do with this and then they could bring so many more bounty hunters in and um i don't know what what's gonna go on on the pike side like i don't know who exactly is on the pike side you know maybe like i don't know cad bane's gonna team up with them i don't really know at this point um because i don't know enough about the pikes myself personally um i don't know who they're affiliated with who blah blah blah, blah. But even still, this this could open so many doors and oh, oh God. And I mean, the other thing now as well with Afra, right? So we then obviously now knows Luke Skywalker because Luke Skywalker has Grogu. Luke Skywalker also knows Afra. So like Din Jaren, like goes to get Grogu or something or he's like with Luke and then Boba walks in and he's like oh we need help and then I'm the, my mind is just spiraling right now this is never gonna happen but this is what's going on going on in my little crazy brain right now Din is chilling with Luke and Grogu and then Boba walks in he's like I need you and then looks like oh I have a friend who could help and then Santi's like I know your friend because that's my friend too my mind my brain is just whoo I'm so hyped after that episode. Every single one of these episodes has got me so hyped afterwards. That This is possibly my favorite episode so far. I really loved episode two. Episode two was absolutely incredible. But I think this one might just take the lead. I'm not sure. It's tied between those two. This was a really freaking good episode. Um, I'm getting a phone call. Hold up. Sorry about that. I got a phone call at the worst timing. Um... But yeah, I was thinking that this also brings in opportunities for like more references or like showing up from like Ahsoka or other Mandalorians. Um, like there's so much that they could do or even the Bad Batch, Omega, because obviously 
by this point, Fennec Shand knows Omega, right? I think if the timelines match up, I think that was before all this happened. So, like, brother and sister reunite, question mark? I don't know. I'm just going crazy into my thoughts and theories. It's more just, like, what's going on in my brain. It's not me saying, oh, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. I just like to think about things that make me happy. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this episode. I loved seeing Santi rip someone's arm off, even though you don't get to physically see it, but you see his arm off. Um, so, yeah, he's he. that was really cool. Um, I loved the entire, like, I loved seeing Fennec more. I loved uh, seeing her being more badass again. So obviously we saw a lot of her badassery in The Mandalorian. Um, now we get to see more because she's kind of, I feel like she'd kind of been pushed aside on the last couple of episodes. Um, I know it's focused on Boba, which is understandable, but I want to see more of her. And we did, and we got to actually see it connect into the Mandalorian where he found her. And I absolutely loved that. And the whole Sarlacc pit and the, this with the slave and, um, like the, the seismic charge, like, oh, that was so cool. I think there is not a single Star Wars fan out there that hates the seismic charge. If that's you, I am so sorry for whatever you're going through. <laughs> um, I just love it. I love it. It's the most satisfying noise and satisfying just setup. It's just beautiful. Um, okay, I'm I'm rambling a lot, so I'm gonna go because I've already I'm already late recording the video, and I don't want to be even later to upload. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode as well. Let me know what your favorite part was. Let me know who you think they're gonna hire. Um, obviously, Din Djarin is going to be the main, you know, theory. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but, uh, who else do you think that they might hire? Who else do you think they're going to bring in? Um, let me know in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe for more Star Wars content. Um, and I will see you guys, uh, next week. So, may the Force be with you.